I picked up my phone. It was Karen. Hello? Hey, Dami, it's Karen. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna say this here, but I think I'm pregnant again. Are you taking the fucking piss? Like, okay, so <sighs> let me get this straight. With all the fucked up shit that's actually going on in the relationship, is this girl actually pregnant again? So I was thinking to myself, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not gonna blame anyone else but myself. So fuck it, let's 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 just verify she's actually pregnant. Karen went to go and do a pregnancy test and it turned out she's actually pregnant again. So this time around, I just forced myself, you know what, fuck it, like like you know what you can't get any worse than this, like you know. So I asked Karen, alright, cool, so what's the plan? Karen said she's going to keep it. So after Karen's mom, after Karen's mom was made aware of the pre of the second pregnancy, she lost the plot. She was pissed off. She called my phone, cussed the fuck out of me. She told me straight there and then that you know what, like, there's no absolute way this girl is going to have this child if she's not married to you. So I don't care what you guys want to do. What I'm saying to you is that this girl is not having this child if she's not married to you so my mind was all over the place like i didn't know what to say i didn't know what to think i couldn't really think straight myself and karen sat down i you know we sat down together we, we decided that okay you know what let's let's put all our arguments aside let's just focus on what's more important you know we got back together you know we rekindled, we sorted out our issue, you know. But Karen's mom was kept on ringing my phone, ringing my phone, ringing my phone, telling me that she's that, you know, just started cussing me, insulting me, just saying that, you know, I must marry Karen. If not, like, she cannot have the baby. I thought about everything. I thought about the whole relationship. I realized why I got in the relationship in the first place. I realized that, you know what, at the end of the day, you know, Karen, Karen doesn't have that much experience in relationships. This is Karen's first proper relationship. Karen's family our very odd family um karen hasn't really received much love and support from her mom or her family members karen has, oh, has always felt like a stranger to her family so karen's not really having it easy in her family already as it is karen faces toxic abuse from her parents from her mom um karen is going through a lot and probably doesn't really know how to handle situations like this in a relationship so you know what let me just take you on the chin and let me just continue to love her even through these difficult times and let me just take responsibility of the situation and I believe it to be the right thing to do to make everyone happy to make Karen happy to make the mom happy and to focus on the future. So I decided it was best to put a ring on Karen. Thank you.
धूवो ते आप मुहिबियन सीन सबे के स्तारो जो रहांदो पोर तुम्मो जो रहांदो पोर तुम्मो तुम्मो के जेबो सेंधी तो I organized a surprise dinner with myself and Karen and my brother and his partner and my little brother and his partner and I organized a saxophonist um, to come along to the restaurants and on a surprise you know unexpected level I obviously wowed Karen with a proposal public proposal um, in the restaurant and the video actually went viral and was on several blog pages this video went viral and was on several blog pages um, at this point of the proposal at this point Karen was pregnant for my child and a lot of things were going through my head of you know becoming a father you know sorting out the family issues with Karen's family enduring the insultive abuse I'm receiving from Karen's mom the pressure I was receiving from Karen's mom I felt like my back was against the wall and the only option I had was to propose to Karen so I proposed to her went down on one knee popped the question I remember my my mom and my close friend sitting me down and saying to me that are you sure you really want to do this because you know you've spent so much money on this girl like you know you bought her a car for her birthday like you bought her a car you flew her to greece you flew her to cyprus you bought her a laptop you've done so many things for her now you've proposed to her so it's like you know with all the insultive abuse you've received from the mom from her family with all the toxic arguments you guys have had where she's attacked you ripped your shirt hit you in public punched you in public you know acting toxic towards you the whole toxic family thing you everything that's going on you still want to put a ring on her like are you sure this is what you want like by that point in time i was so in love and i thought to myself like you know it's not her fault you know she's still growing up like you know she's she's i was still thinking for karen everything i was feeling was for karen i was trying to help her i just felt like she's having a tough time in her family you know it's not easy for her like you know i'm i'm going to help her out like i'm a man i can take this on the chin it's not you know don't worry about me you know so that's what i told my mom that's what i told my friends you know so um two weeks later or a few weeks later um karen said to me that she's going to she wants to travel to um she's traveling to italy to see her grandparents because her grandparents actually lives in italy you know so i thought okay yeah that's fine that's fine um you know when you come back we're gonna you know plan this engagement party so she said she's traveling to italy cool so on the day of her flight to go to italy she messaged me and said that she's not feeling too well I said, okay, what do you mean? Not feeling too well. She said she's having belly pains, and so I was just wondering, like, what do you mean having belly pains? Like, uh, what kind of belly pains? She said she's having belly pains, but when she gets to Italy, she will probably go to the hospital there or something, you know. 
So I said to her, that, don't you want to go to hospital first to make sure everything is fine or whatever? She said, no, it's, it's, not, it's not that deep. Just, you know, just a bit of cramps. You know, it's normal. I thought, okay, cool. So, she got on the plane now. And then, when she got on the plane, she went to Italy. And then I went, then this was like late in the night. So I went to sleep and then I received a phone call like very early in the morning from Karen. Hello? 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 Karen was on the phone to me and she was crying. She was crying a lot on the phone. I said, babe, what, what's going on? Are you okay? Karen explained to me that, you know, she's currently in the airport in Italy and, you know, she's covered in blood and there's blood all over her body. Like she's, she's having a miscarriage at the moment. I was so baffled, like, what do you mean? What's going on? She said that she's having a miscarriage and there's so much blood all over all over her body and she's in the airport and, you know, there's blood literally pouring out of her body. So I started to panic. I started to get scared. I said, okay, is, 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 is anyone there with you? Who is there with you? Now, obviously, Karen, she didn't travel to Italy with anybody. She went by herself to see her grandparents. So she said she was all by herself and no one is helping her out. I said, okay, like, can you go to the nearest first aid person or go to the nearest airport official? Ask them to ask them to help you out. Karen was crying on the phone, crying on the phone, crying, saying that she's, you know, there's blood everywhere, there's blood everywhere. So I quickly called Karen's mom to notify her of what's happening, you know. And then um, after I called Karen's mom, I tried to call Karen back. But Karen's phone wasn't going through. Her phone, her phone wasn't going through. I tried to call the phone again. It was ringing, no response. Ringing, no response. I, tried to, I, tried to, I kept on trying to call the phone. It wasn't ringing. So I called Karen's mom back saying, what's going on? I can't get through to Karen. And Karen's mom said that uh, she's struggling to get through to her either. So at this point, I started getting shook. I started getting scared. I started worrying. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? You know? And then a few hours later, Karen called me and she said that she's an, she's in her grandmom's house, that, you know, she went to the hospital and there was no signal, you know, but she's in her grandmom's house now. She's just relaxing and she just said that, you know, she felt very down because, you know, she had a, she had a miscarriage at the airport. So I didn't know how to feel about this, but I just thought to myself, you know what, like, <sighs> let me just, let me just wait until you come back, like, you know, like, I'm just glad you're okay now, you know, let's just, just enjoy your time with your grandparents and, you know, I will just wait until you come back, like, you know, so I felt very down, like, very depressed again, I just felt very... I just felt very confused, like, what the fuck, like, you went, like, how can she go to the airport and have a miscarriage in the, like, nothing made sense to me, but I just thought, okay, you know what, like, fuck it, like, don't, let me, let me not overthink this, let me just, you know, let me just endure all of this, you know, so, Karen was in Italy for a good two weeks, after these two weeks, Karen came back to the UK, when she came back to the UK, she started acting very, very, very different. Very, very different from to the normal Karen. She stopped calling me that often. She stopped seeing me unless I ask her now, you know, to see me. She stopped like speaking to me that often. So I was very confused, like I asked Karen like you know this whole miscarriage thing like that just happened like you know i hope it's not affecting you negatively like i hope you're okay 
Karen didn't Karen just seemed perfectly normal like nothing happened you know she randomly called me one day and say oh she's she's going on a trip to you know see one of her female friends and they are going somewhere just acting so weird and acting so different so I was very confused like what the fuck is going on like you know so I called Karen again saying listen let's let's you know let's pl- let's continue to plan this engagement party like well, you know who do you want to invite Karen didn't get back to me about it Karen didn't even like pay give that any attention so I was just wondering like what the fuck is going on like am I missing something here then one day Karen's mom called me and she called my phone hello oh hello auntie Karen's mom said to me listen now that Karen has lost the baby I don't think there's any point in both of you getting married the girl has her life to live so that marriage plans you guys have can you please just get rid of it because there's no point since she's not having the baby anymore So at this point, like, you know when you're, you know when you've been, like, <laughs> you know you, you know you know when you've been broken so many times to the point that you don't even know how to feel anymore. Like I was, I, I didn't know what to say. I was just, I, I'll just remain quiet on the phone. Like, what the fuck am I listening to? So Karen's mom said to me, "There's no point of you guys getting married anymore. Forget the whole engagement stuff you guys have." leave her alone let her live her life and you live your own life don't call her again don't speak to her again so after that phone call i thought you know what fuck it let me let me call karen and speak to karen because let me just let me just tell karen what what my mom just said to me on the phone so i called karen hello hello karen can you believe what your mom just said to me I spoke to Karen on the phone and I explained to her what her mom said to me on the phone Karen's response was um yeah I kind of get where she's coming from sorry yeah I kind of get where she's coming from so let me, let me let me get this straight Karen was basically agreeing that we should just call it quits and I should let her just we should just go our separate ways as long as the sea is bound to so you're telling me that how long will I want you when I met Karen as long as you want her life was like in the dark she had no friends whatsoever longer by far. she was always very depressed because of how her mom treated her how long will I, want I came into her life I made her some new as friends as I helped her with her studies by buying her educational equipment like laptop I bought her a car I did so many things for Karen I got her a job I, I did her CV for her I did so many things for her to help her I gave her so many advice about her family so she can you know f- amend her relationship with her mom I tried my best to be of as much help as possible to her life not only did she abort our first child after making me believe she's going to keep it she also encouraged the idea of you yeah, let's have an engagement party let's do this let's do this let's do that and now all of a sudden she's traveled to italy told me that she's randomly had a miscarriage in the airport i was so baffled like i don't i don't think i was so confused like 
I was literally so confused. So I thought to myself, okay, you know what? Maybe the person, I, maybe the person I need to speak to is Karen's mom because it seems like Karen's mom has said something to Karen to get into her head. So I thought, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me speak to Karen's mom. So I went to Karen's house. You know, to go and see Karen, and so at least my mom, my mom can be there as well. So I went to that to their house. I sat down with Karen, saying, "What's that all about? Like, what, what are you saying on the phone? I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? Let's call it quit. Like, uh, yeah, you're, you're really confusing me. Like, we've we've been together for over two years, almost three years. Like, what, what what's explain to me what's going on? Then Karen's mom walked into the room and said to me. Dami, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Karen's mom was accusing me of being the reason why their relationship wasn't working. Karen's mom was blaming me and saying that I'm the reason why their relationship wasn't working. Karen's mom was insulting me and saying that apparently I've been giving Karen advice bad advice about the family i've been getting myself involved into their family business and destroying their relationship destroying their family and misleading karen into wasting her life so i should leave i should leave her alone so i looked at karen and i said to karen karen like are you hearing this like can you at least defend me here like and tell your mom that this is not what this is not like i've actually been giving you reasonable advice Karen looked at her mom and said, Dami is the reason why this family always has problems. Dami is the reason why nothing is going good in my life. Dami is the reason why... I was so baffled, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm so confused. Karen literally switched up on me and painted me to her mom to be a bad person somebody who who is trying to steal her from the mom somebody who came to come and destroy the family somebody who is somebody who is very very manipulative somebody who is i was so i was so confused like what what the fuck is going on like i'm so like am i dreaming am i actually dreaming like when i when i first met you you were crying to me about how your how bad your mom treats you when i first met you you were crying to me that your mom calls you the black sheep of the family when i first met you you are crying to me that your mom bullies you mom does this your mom does that and i was trying my best to keep you happy i was trying my best to distract you from all that depression i was trying my best to fly you out buy you presents you know when i first met you you had no friends whatsoever i'll i'll, I'll try my best to make you new friends i took you to different motives i took you to my video shoot i introduced you to people so you can actually network and have new friends i literally brought your life from being in the dark to being in the light you're, you're sitting you're sitting here in front of your mom telling me that i'm doing the exact opposite you're sitting here blaming me for the reason for your family issues how how in the fuck am i the reason for your family i don't understand i was so baffled karen's mom chased me out of the house insulted me said i should leave her daughter alone i should leave the family alone i should i should just leave them alone and Karen didn't say anything to defend me. Karen stood there and agreed with her mom and said that I'm the reason why her life has been down in the drain. This has to be one of the most confusing moments of my whole life because to this day, I don't know what the fuck. I, I'm, uh, I don't think you guys understand how I was so baffled, like, it, it literally felt like like the mom this will sound crazy but it's, it's, it literally felt like the mom just did the maddest judge like black magic or something to just get into Karen's head because the way Karen sounded and spoke 
didn't sound like Karen at all. The way she was thinking, the way she was speaking, everything she said didn't sound like her at all. So I, I, I just went home. I was really depressed. I was really down. I was really confused. Like, what the hell? What's going on? I went on Karen's Instagram. She deleted all our pictures. Karen blocked my number. Karen blocked me of everything. You know, I went on Karen's Snapchat. She was living her best life. You know, meeting up with friends. Seemed very happy. So I was really confused. Like, did I do some? What did I do? Like, am I, am I missing something here? So you can't see properly, that's the head and yeah, that's the baby and that's the umbilical cord apparently but yeah and with this one like a bigger picture from far so yeah that's the baby inside the womb and stuff.